The Center for Native American Studies at NMU offers an interdisciplinary minor. We have 23 different courses, but we also like to offer a number of what we call outreach or cultural programming activities. And so the hide tanning workshop was um, one of those events that we've hosted this year. And we had a number of students that um, are currently in Native American Studies classes and other students um, came that are just interested in learning more. My major is art and design with a focus in jewelry and metal smithing and my minor is Native American studies. The last time that I learned how to do this, it was a really great experience and I want to do it on my own someday. So I'm going to get as much experience doing it as possible and then maybe utilize it in some of my metal. Work. Do the same to this side after we so a lot of our workshops are very much centered on active learning, hands-on, make and take, so people are actually able to take the product home. Judy Van Zyl is a first cousin to um, a Ojibwa woman who lives very, very close to Northern Michigan University and was actually someone um, who actually took taking classes at NMU and her daughter is an alum of Northern Michigan University and because of my friendship and relationship with those two ladies I went to her took her some tobacco and I said you know I know some of your relatives know how to do this really important work with traditional hide tanning we would love to be able to introduce some of our students to this the first two years we held the workshop we actually went to her home so this last year, in doing it just recently, this was the first time we convinced her to come to Marquette and share her knowledge and her gifts with our students. My, my grandparents and my parents used to do this, so I, I kind of caught on to what they were doing. I kind of changed some stuff. Some friends told me to use duct tape when the hole is hidey, otherwise it takes a long time, you know, got to sew up all the holes. I'm gonna say four, four or five hides out of my that I got this year that I'm gonna use for making magazines for my family. When I've had uh, the, you know, the fortune, good fortune of having something that's brain tanned, you can feel something that's more earthy, more connected to the maker and the wearer. And so when I've had moccasins that are brain tanned deer hide, there's just something that you know there was extra special time and care taken in, in making those in making that effort. And for me, I've I've heard from an elder who has heard from his elder that it is insulting not to use the traditional methods of using the deer's own brains, using those traditional techniques to take care of that hide. And so even though we tools evolve, obviously we're using metal to help with some of this stuff and we were using PV pipe to you know hold the horse up for scraping. Um, the intent with which the um, process is being done is done out of respect for that animal and its life that it gave for us to be able to then um, utilize its hide for whatever choice whether it be moccasins or a skirt or a pouch or whatever the choice might be and so there's something sort of interconnected and intimate about that act that I think brings um, a cultural validity, if you will, um, to the person who's wearing that item or making that item. Again, I think our students who have been able and fortunate enough to go to some of these workshops, the Hyde workshop in particular, I think it's one of those rare life opportunities that they're not necessarily gonna be able to experience away from the college setting. The workplace is out there and it's you know it's there it's waiting but when you're in college you have a chance to take hold and take advantage of some of these kind of workshops and i hope that our students appreciate these opportunities and how it can enrich their own lives and experience no matter what major a student is there's ways to tie it back to native american studies again it's kind of all these um it's a spider web it's all connected and so i think anybody um, any student from any background who, you know, has been able to d take part in these workshops, I think there's a way to enrich their college experience through these, through these activities, and I hope they'll really take something away from them.